Next, I'm going to show you how to do a screen clipping. In some ways, it's a lot like copying and pasting, but it is quite different. It takes kind of a, uh, a clip art of uh, your whatever you want to clip. So the main thing that you need to do, first of all, is make sure that the last screen that you had open is actually your lesson. So here I switched over to my lesson. This here, this brain, um, this picture of the brain is what I want to clip in there. And I'm not going to select it and copy and paste it like I did in the previous um, demonstration with the text. I selected it, copied and paste. This is going to be quite different in how do I clip this. But the main thing is make sure that my lesson is open right before I then switch over to OneNote because you'll see when I go to create a screen clipping, make sure you're on the insert tab, click on screen clipping. What it does is it goes to the very last thing you were looking at before you switched over to OneNote. So when I click on screen clipping, notice it closed out my OneNote. It didn't close it out, but it minimized it. And then it showed me my lesson here. Now it's kind of dim or gray, and I see this um, crosshairs. The crosshairs is saying, okay, now select what you want to clip into OneNote. So I'm gonna start in the upper left-hand corner of what I wanna clip. I'm gonna click and hold my mouse button down and I'm going to drag diagonally and that creates this rectangle around what I want to clip. And it can always be edited from there. So once I have it selected, I just release my mouse and when I do that, it pops it right into OneNote. I didn't have to switch back to OneNote, it just popped it right in there. So the main thing is to make sure your lesson is open first and you're looking at what you want to clip whether it's a, a website or whether it is, uh, you know, your lesson, whatever it is, then you go to your OneNote, place your I-beam where you want to put the clipping, then you go to Insert, Screen Clipping. It will minimize your OneNote and take you right back to that screen. Now, so we've got our picture here. We can always click on it and edit it, make it smaller, kind of like we would a piece of clip art. So it's just a picture of that area that we clipped. So I wanted to show you this. So if I use the screen clipping example, so I'm gonna click on screen clipping to select this text. I wanna show you how this is different than copying and pasting the text. Okay, so I put the text in there. Notice if I try to click on that text to edit it, I cannot edit it. It's almost like it's a picture of the text. It's not actually the text. So I could select it and drag it around, you know, do something like that. I could delete it, but I cannot go in there and edit the text in any way because it's a screen clipping. Now up here in my previous example, I did a copy and paste of the very same text. And in this text, I could go in and I could make changes to the text in any way that I wanted to. So the text here is um, edit to, it is able to be edited, unlike if you use a screen clipping where you can't edit it.